Right lads, so uh, following my Wales video, I promised that I'd look into the possibility of a little, little exploit whereby we would create uh, Scootish vassals, various of them, on mainland Europe and any coalition that tries to fight me because of my aggressive expansion doesn't matter because I can defend them with my navy. Uh, Iron Man is on. I don't know how else to prove it. I mean, if I go like AI, look, Iron Man mode. <laughs> a couple of people are like, oh, you're faking Iron Man now. There's nothing more I can do. Unless you want to come and sit next to me, that's not a real offer. First things first, I want to sell this to France, I guess, because I do not want the surrender of Maine. Sold. Okay, so now surrender of Maine can't happen. I'm going to go ahead and begin my vassal empire by releasing Normandy and also Gascony. Okay, so we started. I need to give these provinces on the mainland to Normandy because any province I have on the mainland will be taken. Now, unfortunately, because we do have the parliamentary system, it means we can't take the nobility uh, privilege to, like, have more vassals and to get rid of the penalty to annexation. But I think England means I can get straight into it. I think that's more useful for, uh, for watch time because you are all impatient bastards. So I've got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and take out Scotland. The other aspect to this is I can't have any allies on the continent. Okay, we got a 633. Okay, you know what? There you go. War of the Roses. Sorted. Solved. We need to dissolve our alliance with Portugal. And now I'll address the elephant in the room. Uh, my face, as you can see, is, is kind of marked up. Also my lip. Uh, I have had sparring. I was... I lost. <laughs> Can't really lose sparring. But I was, I was beaten severely by uh, a couple of black belts. Um, because there was no one else available to spar. Um, Jiu-jitsu wise. So I had my face basically used to, to really scrub the map for a little while. Good fun. End of the Hundred Years War. Gonna gain a stability and lose... Our court on Armagnac. Because I didn't surrender it in the event, uh, I do sort of lock myself out of this focus, but to be honest, it's kind of unnecessary right now. Right, so why have I been waiting so patiently? It's very unlike me. Uh, it's because I'm waiting for this mission. Levy the troops, which gives us claims on, well, everyone. Fortunately, the French can't do anything, and also our vassals are scootaged, so they're not going to get involved. Oh, we actually do finish the Hundred Years War. Brilliant. Oh, because I suppose we are at war with France, technically. So that gives us a bunch of claims. <laughs> I fully intend on fighting the entirety of Ireland pretty soon, so I kind of want to rest my manpower. Where are they? Where did they go? Okay, they're just sitting on that land there. Brilliant. I would rather not fight you. And so if you're just going to sit there, it means I don't have to. We've got admin tech 4. Meanwhile, pretty sure everyone else is starting to get mil tech 4. Also, Burgundy declared one on the edge. Have you lost already? It's been 10 years and Tunis you've already lost, bro. It's embarrassing, man. Yeah, here's the thing. I'm kind of fine with being at war with France, so I'm just going to go ahead and conquer the rest of Ireland. You guys out. Peace, meal. Yeah, peace. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. I think I might still be damaged from having, you know, the blood flow cut off my head and having to tap out. Oh no, coalition, whatever will I do? The AI clearly has not read the title of this video. Neither have I, because I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> so, I now have Scotland as a vassal. Hey, man. How's it going? You don't like me. That is understandable, but that is a mistake. I mean, that's the British Isles conquered in like 10 years. <laughs> also, there are a couple of people uh, in the comments of every single video all the time saying, don't you know you can shift left click? I'm holding down shift, I left click, it does 1.8. But I can easily take more. So, I, it doesn't work, okay? The game feature that you're telling me about doesn't work. And I know this. <laughs> you will still tell me to do it. <laughs> and there we go. Island is done. Gives everyone goods produce modifier. Look at that. Look how nice I am. I've never seen Samskir win. That's actually impressive. Genuinely never. 3,000 hours. Never seen him come out on top. I turned off uh, random lucky nations because, again, people complain about that as well. <laughs> but to be fair, I feel like a lot of people complain about a lot of things. A lot of people complain about the shirt I'm wearing. Like I saw it in this other video. <laughs> Washing machines exist, guys. All right. We're going to make Henry abdicate. There we go. So we've got a 633 in charge. He was alive. For one year! <laughs> one year! And now I've got a 222 in charge. One year! <laughs> Come on, game! 402. It's not quite 633, though, is it? So you might be wondering, how does Operation Screw the Continent actually work? Well, first off, we're going to go declare war on Brittany. But they're going to murder Brittany. <laughs> Now, we do want to race through these ideas. Three reasons, technically. This is a good idea for us to get early, whilst we're still growing in power. This is also an incredibly good idea for when we want to annex, for example, Scotland. Uh, and also, the Royal Navy heavy ship combat ability is going to be quite important. Brittany, it'd be so much easier if you just didn't exist. Also, someone showed me a screenshot of, of someone watching my video, right? 
And then immediately underneath, it was the Suicide Watch um, hotline, which, don't get me wrong, lovely sentiment that they're trying to help people out. But why was it after watching one of my videos? <laughs> right, that's this lot done. We're going to take liberty desiring subjects. So here's how we're going to do this. We are going to straight up annex them. Uh, we're going to get a massive coalition. That's fine. And then we go after Brittany. Okay, so we fully annex them, right? And uh, realistically, we're going to get a coalition spanning the entirety of Europe. So, this is dangerous. But we're going to go ahead, go to Normandy, and we're going to grant these provinces over. So now Normandy has all that land. And they are scootaged. So no one can declare war on them. So we need to get out of here, Scarpish. Uh, I'm actually kind of concerned about the sheer quantity to the point where I'm going to build more ships. Okay, yep. Saw that one coming. If I set everything up correctly, they're all with me and me alone. I am at war with the entirety of Europe being about... What? 300,000 troops? That's fine. Provided I don't do anything stupid. But then, well, I, uh, I mean, Denmark does have a couple of galleys. All right, 35 of our finest ships leave behind the cogs. Oh, it, is, it does count towards the show's priority. Okay, we get like 25% war score here. <laughs> Second Kurdish war. The funny thing about that is I could probably annex uh, Friesland and Dithmarschen out of this one. All right, I should theoretically have our entire island safe now because I've blocked off this lot. <laughs> really? Another one? Oh, the French are in this one. That's nice. That's actually quite a few ships I need to go and kill now. Okay. All right. We are a little bit less secure than we once were. Scotland, you madman. <laughs> Stop just diving into naval battles. You can't just do that. Nice. Diplomatic annexation cost, which gives us also heavy ship convertity plus 10%. Gorgeous. By the way, just thought I'd mention... Uh... <laughs> uh, one second. Take a screenshot of that. Come on. Land the troops. All right, that was a successful operation. Blockade of Gotland by Mecklenburg is worth more than actually Gotland being occupied by me. That's uh, that's insane. Also, everyone else is on low, apart from... Oh, who's really up for it. But to be fair, we have secured peace in Europe. <laughs> Not, I mean, this is great for the Ottomans, for example, who could just sort of expand without a care in the world. This is basically my kind of playing tool, where you're permanently at war, but you're kind of just focusing on yourself, you know? Could go for Rugen, technically. There it is. Oh, wants the white piece. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get enough war score to actually take anything from them. Because I need 10%. I don't think it's going to happen. All right, you know what? We are going to peace out with Ulm. And, you know, Europe. Right. There's that done. Is this my chance to take out the French, do you think? I'm just going to focus on freezing. Like, this lot are a bit too big for me. Yep. There we go. I just enjoy the idea that, like, uh, people turn up to fight Normandy and they're like, legally, you can't do this. This Martian we can take. These two we can take. We might want to vassalize, like, Salzburg. And there we go. I think other <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Has it really been five years? You're allowed to do that again? All right, today's plan, we declare war and take the islands. Which will inevitably bring in everyone else. It didn't. I mean, they eventually were. Rinse and repeat, boys. Rinse and repeat. I'm dying here. <laughs> Another coalition. And, like, realistically, there's nothing anyone can do to stop me from taking it. Ah, you fell for the trap. I was hiding ships. Lads, I can't tell you how satisfying it is just to click and just watch numbers disappear. It's so good. There's just nothing they can do. After years of being screwed over by the AI, I finally get to do it back. I'm kind of concerned about the home isles. Right. Back to the home isles, boys. Oh my god. Oh, we almost made it. Okay, this is stressful, man. I expected it to be a lot more chill than this. We're so close. We just need a couple more battles. They are an island. This war did not have to be this costly. I'm just an idiot. Danes are landing troops again. <laughs> Dude. Why did you join me? <laughs> I was wondering why I wasn't getting any goddamn war scores. It's because the Pope's in this war. I mean, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. But why? No. Oh my god. That's Phil. How can I take this territory? I will. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely will. Oh, I can't take it until I'm ready to peace out from all of my coalition wars. Because if I don't, then they'll occupy it. And they still have troops left. They haven't even stacked. Like, no. I could have been out, Pope. I could have been out. Brandenburg one kind of sucks. If I have more troops in them, so I can just straight up fight them. You're on low. Brilliant. I can get you out. Okay, let's do that. 
take that land. In the interest of ending the video, I think I'm going to go ahead and just take these islands. There you go. Brunswick, Saxony, Brandenburg, that sort of stuff. Okay, cool. So central Germans. Why? Why would you land troops right there? Just got them stack wiped for no reason. There's a stack wipe in return. Nice, couple of different stack wipes. <laughs> Think of what happened to Brandenburg. Normandy is actually one of the most powerful nations in Europe right now, which is quite funny. You are so lucky, Brunswick, that I don't have access here. I could take you as a vassal. <gasps> no, I can't. I can't. That'd be very funny, though. Thank you. Right, and we're at peace again once more. Right, Normandy. Take this lands, please. Grant province. There we go. And they can't touch it. It's ours now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I proved my point definitively. Uh, that coalitions don't mean anything with, uh, with Scrutage vassals. I think if I were to continue this, what I would be doing is taking out Denmark get by getting claims for uh, uh, Normandy. Uh, just sort of continually hitting them. Retreating to my island, fighting the coalition sort of every five years or so. And then using, uh, assuming obviously that, that Castile is going to be in it, because why wouldn't they? Using this fort system set up to try and bait as many and kill them every time provided obviously the pope doesn't try and get involved other places that'd be good for this are uh Gerba or venice in any case i do hope you enjoyed that video uh please do try it out yourselves and let me know how you get on by joining the discord uh what else can i plug follow me on twitter join the patreon <laughs> otherwise boys do make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time goodbye Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's it's literally right there.